Hey y'all, Shelly here with another tip for hospice nurses. So you know a lot of our patients are debilitated and, and some of them are debilitated to the point that they can't hold a glass and drink independently, which means they have to depend on other people just to get fluids. This would make me really frustrated. So something I'd do to help these patients to improve their quality of life and give them some independence back is I keep a trunk full of sippy cups. Like everywhere I go when sippy cups are on sale, I buy them and I keep them in my trunk. And when I come across a patient that could benefit from a sippy cup, I'll give them a couple of the cups. And this way they're able to hold their fluid. They don't have to worry as much about it spilling and they're able to drink independently. Um, one thing to know about sippy cups is they come, there's all different types. So they come as spill resistant and they also come as spill proof. So we want to make sure that the cups are spill resistant because we don't want our patient to have to suck on them because sucking on the sippy cup, same principle as a straw. We discourage that because of the risk of aspirating, you know, sucking that fluid back into their lungs. So check your cup. Um, you can fill it with some water, turn it upside down over the sink. You, what you want to happen is for some water to drop out. It doesn't need to pour out, but it needs to come out kind of slowly. If it doesn't come out at all, take the lid off and look inside the lid. There's usually a little rubber stopper in there. You just pull that rubber stopper out, test it again. If the water still isn't leaking out, what I will do is take an ice pick or the tong of a fork, something like that, and I will bore the holes out to make them just a little bit bigger so that the water will drip out. And then this allows the patient to drink the water and not greatly reducing the risk of spilling on themselves. Um, now, if it falls over in their bed, it is going to still leak out. But it does let them have a lot more independence and I think improves their quality of life. So I hope this tip was helpful. If you have any tips that would be helpful for hospice nurses, please let me know. I'd love to share them here. And remember, together we can change our world.